Isn't it beautiful? The good news is that everything goes good so far. And now the news is unexpectedly the tires of the motorcycle get worn very fast especially the rear tire I change it with Fairbanks it was like uh, 3,000 miles ago so 5,000 miles 5,000 kilometers and the middle of it is almost bald so that's not a good perspective because it means I have to change tires still five times and they are hundred dollars each. So that's unexpected expenses, you know. I didn't know the tires get worn so fast man. journey so fifth part so I'm gonna make some uh, uh, review you know like uh, these 20 days how much that costs how much that costs and stuff like that and uh, as per today it was a smooth day uh, I did a record today I was driving for 372 miles so it's around the Almost, uh, almost 600 kilometers. So it's a record for me. Um, two not really pleasant things I discovered today in the morning. I noticed that the tire, the rear tire, gets worn out pretty fast. So I had to change it. I have to change it soon. I don't want to have a flat tire like I had on the front. It was because of the worn out tire. And the second thing, uh, the chain slack develops. Develops. So I adjusted it two times already. And after first adjustment, it went very, very loose. So I need to check the chain for the weariness and then maybe I have to order the rear tire. I don't know if this tire will survive until the US. It's still another 2000 kilometers I guess. And uh, maybe also order to check the chain. I'm gonna look for any overnight stay tomorrow, so I need to do all my laundry and uh, I have to shower myself as well. There's no more spare underwear clean left. <laughs> the laundry is extremely, is extreme priority. Right. Uh, all right, so I met a couple, a Canadian from Montreal. They're doing the the trip with the old Volkswagen uh, wagon. I don't know the T2 or something model. It's 40 years old car, but it's super nice equipped. I swear, it's super nice equipped. I've been inside. Yeah, they're going to Argentina. They went to Alaska. They went to Argentina, and they plan to 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 do this trip for one and a half year. One and a half year, man. They're gonna. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of time. I don't know. So he's a photographer. She was a nurse. So yeah, and uh, they gave me some useful information about uh, you know shipping the the bike uh, through Daring Gap. Uh, there's a group in Facebook. 
Americans, whatever, whatever. So, and they give me some application. I over lender. Actually, thanks to that application, I'm staying in this camping for free now because the camp that I was planning to stay at was super, super, super wild. I mean, like the road leads to the forest and the lake, but there's nothing there. There's bushes, the lake, even. I mean, it's visible, but there are bushes, man, and the road, and it's so creepy. I was like, okay let me try another another spot which was not far but like still 15 kilometers but the rose was closed so they were evacuating people because of again wildfire so i'm staying in this place it's quite nice Whew. and tomorrow prince george and let's see because it seems like no hostel there first 21 day report nights at camps 13 one of them is paid. Indoor stays, seven. All of them are paid. Expenses for accommodation, $235, which is $12 per night. Food expenses, $168, which is $8 per day. Fuel expenses, $386, which is 18 kilometers for one dollar expenses for the bike seven hundred sixty dollars these are all expenses related to the bike except fuel service spare parts parking paperwork insurance toll roads ferry tools etc extras three hundred seventy five dollars nineteen dollars per day this is all other miscellaneous expenses. Toiletries, clothes, entrance fees, parks, museums, camping items, cooking utensils, souvenirs, and other stuff I had to buy in order to continue, maintain, or whatever I felt like I am lacking, like boots, gloves, etc. Overall expenses for 20 days constituted $1,924, which is basically 20% of my entire budget. And considering it's been 20th day out of planned 100 days, it's actually coincide. So fifth of the budget spent, fifth of the period dedicated to the trip passed. In terms of distance covered, it's 6,859, which is 343 kilometers per day. But of course, it's deviations and all the tours I took. But if we take true distance, which is along the shortest route from Pruda Bay to Ushuaia, which is 22,000 kilometers, if you remember, then I covered 3,200 kilometers which is 15% of the shortest distance. Which brings me to the conclusion that I am behind the schedule. But of course, I am even more far behind the schedule because in any given circumstances, in any ideal potential situation and perspective, I will not going to take the shortest route 100%. I will deviate. The question is how much of deviation I'm going to take and it will be some that's for sure so means that I'm very far behind the schedule.